Which part is more important? Same. Newspapers or magazines? I want to caution as, as the approach of going for current affairs is very futile also. Mm. It can have side effects also. Mm. So how can it have side effects is that mm. every day you are getting some material. Mm. Current affairs material. Daily, 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 daily you are new, spending daily five for newspapers, five, five PIB and all analysis yes, in. And, and then you feel at the end of the day, yes, I have read four, four, five hours. Uh -huh. Now I have and become you, an expert, and you become like very. I have read so much today, uh -huh. uh, and. Uh, uh, it will. It is helping me in UPSC preparation. And, and it will feel knowledgeable. I uh, feel some way. way. So much knowledgeable so a person much. feels that nah, this current affair topic is going on. I have this. Ah. I have read it from two three places. I have spent four five hours on current affair. So like uh, watching Rajya Sabha TV, Dhruv uh, uh, all kinds of people. Uh, all kinds of people <laughs> and. Uh, this creates so much a problem that you are not spending time oh, on the thing that they will ask. Right. They are asking static questions even in mains also if you see. Mm. So uh, they would be rephrasing the thing mm -hmm. uh, with the different kind of question but uh, the core theme the core would be, theme the, will be same. the same. The static is far more important than st uh, current affairs. If you indulge in current affairs you would have a false feeling mm. that you are reading daily mm -hmm. but you are not de uh, reading what? what the UPSC requires. Yes. So that's my point. Right. Uh, so that's the side effect uh, I was talking about mm. the current affairs. So Dr. Bhai, uh, talking about current affairs, uh, how how much importance is, uh, like people ask me uh, all the time on the channel mm. that the importance of newspaper versus the importance of magazine reading. Mm. So what do you think, which um, which part is more important, Same. newspapers or magazines? So I, I feel that newspaper is more than current affairs. Okay, so it is also static. It's also um, or not static, like essay also there. Okay. So much elements of uh, essay. all parts of your. Profession. For example, I I used to do one thing that helped me improved my English writing skills mm -hmm. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Was that I used to read the editorials mm -hmm. and rewrite in the uh, in my own language. Yeah. So that's not exactly current affairs. It's current affairs plus you are uh, learning how to express yourself, mm -hmm. and that matters a lot in essay also in mm -hmm. GS papers also mm -hmm. like how to frame the questions, how to articulate your point. So that that is why like uh, so it's uh, this advantage. The plus third advantage I'm telling you mm -hmm. that it helps in content differentiation. Okay. So in mains, especially in mains, mm -hmm. uh, not so much in prelims. Mm -hmm. That in mains, if you have to differentiate your answer from other people. Right. So for that you need some case studies and all right. these things. Some 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 particular case studies, like governance examples, some examples. Mm -hmm. So I feel no magazine is covering that kind of thing. Like in, they are not giving certain quotes. Mm -hmm. They are not giving quotes, they are not giving case studies, they are not giving examples, current examples mm -hmm. so that you can get from uh, newspaper and you can go for content differentiation. That's the advantage of content differentiation. This is a really, uh, really interesting thing that you talked about. That your content is different from others. others. So there will be 10,000 people writing means. So and because of current affairs, because of basically newspaper reading and the subjective interpretation of yours. Mm -hmm. The, the content is different. You, you'll get half or one marks extra. Right. Uh, in each.